580 HP Turbo S otherwise, it looks like pretty much every other Carrera convertible roaming the streets of Los Angeles, where this road test took place. And there are a lot of them here, although none could beat this car in a stoplight drag unless they're late model turbos with a capital T, and even those aren't much quicker. However ubiquitous the 911 may be in L.A if exclusivity is high on your priorities, there are better ways to spend $145k our cabriolet turned at least a few heads, mostly on account of its striking, glittering blue paint job. While nearly everyone had lots of love for the extra cost, $710, paint color, few seemed to notice the new fascias, the inboard located sport exhaust tail pipes, or the vertical slots in the rear engine cover that denote this as a 991.2 model. One notable exception was the driver of a guard's red, manual equipped 991.1 Carrera S Cabriolet and his lovely blonde companion with whom we chatted during a side-by-side -side rush hour slog down Sunset Boulevard yes, it was such the LA moment. He asked if the mid-cycle changes represented true upgrades, and he wondered if the new 420 HP turbocharged 3.0 liter flat 6 engine was as good as the 400 HP naturally aspirated 3.8 liter flat 6 that was making such lovely noises behind him and whether he should go PDK on his next 911. Questions answered. Funny that he of all people should ask, since about 4 years ago, we tested a Guards Red 2013 991.1 Carrera S Cabriolet with the 7 speed manual transmission that literally could have been his exact car, sends the blonde. In any case, we could sum up our answers to his questions with, yes, yes, and one second. We say yes to the first, because the 991.2 refresh for 2017 brought a better realized and Apple CarPlay enabled infotainment system, a 918-inspired steering wheel, and three-dimensional tail lamps, among other items.